gonna crash right through the sky. It's all. You know what? Perfect casting. Me? You you came out. I was like, yes, this is Supergirl. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Thank you. I love puppies. So we are going to see how many questions I can answer in 60 seconds without getting distracted by puppies. <laughs> Describe Supergirl's pilot episode without words. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a little Did it say without words or without words or sounds? Words. Without, oh, words. You, can you can use automatopoeia. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, automatopoeia is fine. Okay. Automatopoeia is fine. We're still going. Just go. The romantic ones. Um, my favorite part is when the kids are like, I hate Uncle Jamie. I hate him! I hate Uncle Jamie! Minnesota, <laughs> the Drocht of March hath pierced into the Rota. <laughs> I think that's wrong! What did you think about that, a presidential candidate uh, calling you hot? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, I heard about it, but yeah. you know, I don't, I don't know what I think about yeah. it. <laughs> Those costumes in that amazing yeah. setting. Yeah. Today will be cool too, I think. Yeah. It's like a lot of extras outside, big fight, both in our suits. Yeah. Epic stuff. Here we go. And background. Guys in. Action. Hey, Sparky! Shrieky! Step away from the nice lady. Settle this like women. What? Are we? Are we? <laughs> Did we get blown back by that? Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, you guys. Did your pose. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about recreating that image? We, I've done it a few times for different covers. Like we, me and Teddy Sears, who plays Jay Garrick on Flash, and um, Chantal, who's Patty, recreated the Flash of Two Worlds cover uh, in 2015. And it's fun creating those covers. I mean, when you that see the finished. That was my finish, first cover recreation. Doing, yeah, I mean, when you when you see the finished product, that's when it's like, oh, this is really cool and iconic. The side by side. When you're doing it, it's like it we're just like silly. holding a running pose, right? And I'm like now. my leg. Shaking yeah, like, I don't so it's kind of like awkward like when you do it, but finished product would be great. I okay, promise. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> I'll take your word. <laughs> One second, guys, stand up for me. I'm sure, video of this is incredibly exciting. <laughs> Holding a running phone. The fans are gonna react once we see the episode. Ah! They're gonna go crazy. They're gonna go crazy because it's so good. The episode is so. Sorry for her cheers. Supergirl Flash crossover. The Supergirl and the Flash. <laughs> I can't believe it's happening. And you will see some super flashes. Girl. <laughs> it's happening. I, every time I do that, it's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, me and Melissa met on Glee. We, we actually never acted together in a scene, but we did, I think, like two or three episodes of, we were in like two or three of the same episodes of Glee. Grant is so fun, and he's like everything. In Phantom Zone, which is this area in her galaxy that time doesn't pass. When she got here and Kal-El, her cousin, finds her, he's already grown up and become Superman. He placed me with my adoptive family. The Danvers. I know I'm not your mom, sweetheart, but you're safe here. They had a daughter, Alex. Alex loves Kara tremendously and would do anything for her. But it's an interesting dynamic with 
the parents. There's comparisons here and there and a lot of pressure for Alex to really take care of Kara and protect her and watch over her. So she was sort of asked to kind of just step aside. He's the, uh, he's the IT guy. He doesn't fight crime. He's not like a super powerful CEO of a business. He's just like a normal guy. You expose yourself. Everyone will know about you and you can't take that back. She's a scientist and she's, you know, smart. And so for a lot of reasons, she gets brought into the DEO. The DEO monitors and protects Earth from extraterrestrial presence and or invasion. That means you. When Supergirl arrives, her spaceship drags this other spaceship out of what we call the Phantom Zone. And that ship crashes on Earth along with, along with Kara's. Fort Ross was a prison ship. And these imprisoned aliens uh, run off into various corners of the, of the world. The DEO is formed to kind of track them, capture them, and uh, uh, lock them up. How human is she, even though she's not human, you know? She's relatable and, and has weaknesses and strengths that are uh, things that we can hopefully understand. That's to all the location shoots. And we work out of it every day for every episode. We're at work by about 6 a.m. And we start dressing background. So like for instance, this is the DEO. Whenever we're in the DEO, we have a plethora of background people playing these characters. So we have to gather them and get them in the appropriate garb. Hank and Alex are in the DEO and what they wear in the DEO represents their ranking. You know, Hank will wear more of a tactical shirt, which has, um, you know, media. And uh, <laughs> this one has, has the S. So, and then we move into the most important Supergirl costume. You see we have all sorts of them here. And um, we, you know, we have, they're in pieces when we see them here, the skirt and the bodysuit. It's a fun costume. The cape is beautiful. It's this red lambskin. Um, it's built onto a corset so that it relieves some of the weight um, on our actress, Melissa. It's hard to see sometimes on the show, but the skirt has little glyphs on it, right? It's the little outline of what the S is in, right? On her, it fits beautifully, it just makes the show. We have different types of boots made. Um, there's some that have a lift in them and some that don't so that they can operate according to which stunts we need and what types of stunts they need to do. How do you wash it? Um, very carefully, um, because it's all, you know, it's all dyed and printed specifically. It does, um, it's not reasonable.